One of my favorite passages in the Bible is Psalm 25. And it's almost like a daily decoration to remember God and to serve God. So I want to read it for you today. Psalm 25. Lord, I turn to you, my God, I trust in you. Do not, do not let me be discouraged. Do not let my enemies gloat over me. No one waits for you will be disgraced. Those who act treacherously without cause will be disgraced. Make your ways known to me, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are my God of my salvation. I wait for you all day long. Remember, Lord, your compassion and your faithful love, for they have existed from iniquity. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my acts of rebellion in keeping with me your faithful love. Remember me because your goodness, Lord. The Lord is good and upright. Therefore, he shows sinners the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the Lord's ways show faithful love and truth to those who keep his covenant and decrees. Because of your name, Yahweh, forgive my sin, for it is great. Who is the man who fears the Lord? He will show him the way he should choose. He will live a good life, and his descendants will inherit the land. The secret counsel of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he reveals his covenant to them. My eyes are always on the Lord, for he will pull my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am alone and afflicted. The distresses of my heart increase, bring me out of my sufferings. Consider my affliction and trouble and take away all my sins. Consider my enemies that are numerous, and they hate me violently. Guard me and deliver me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and what is right watch over me, for I wait for you. God, redeem Israel for all its distresses. And I wanna go back and I wanna read four and five. Make your ways known to me, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. I wait for you all day long. Remember this today in your prayers and when you're going about your life. And remember to let God guide you.